Today we're going to be showing you how to do the Rotax Max 125 wiring harness. Welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to wire up your Rotax Max race engine and install it on your go-kart. A big shout out to all our fans out there on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and Patreon. All the subscribers, thank you very much. Can't do the videos without you. Also to our friends at Rotax and International Karting, thanks for the great engine. So in the kit comes the, the battery mounting anti-vibration. I guess it's just like a foam. And you put this in the cradle and sit the battery down inside it. These are the mounting kit for the battery bracket to the chassis. You've got the computer's ECU. And over here we've got the battery bracket and that's got all the harness attached to it. We have covered the Rotax Max uh, engine assembly in another video series and you can click that in the description below. Otherwise what you're going to have to do is get your Stanley knife and break open all the packets. So we have already pre-filled the battery with the acid and charged it overnight so it's at full charge. Now we have done this in the other video series as well so you can click on that link in the description below. So just with a 4mm T-bar remove this screw and the battery cover just comes off like that. Now it is kept in here with a little o-ring and that just stops the bolt from falling out when you take the cover off. Unwrap the harness it comes all sort of wound together. Now we're ready to install the chassis mounting clamps. Grab the nut inserted steel inserts and they just fit inside here. Now they can rotate in the sheet metal. On the bottom you can see that they are sticking through and the little isolator mounting blocks just fit straight on. Then you can put on the bottom clamp and hold it in position just with a couple of loose bolts. These are the ones we're going to use on the chassis but I just like to put them in here so that I can get the battery bracket all assembled and it doesn't all fall apart. So for those that didn't know, this is the battery charging point. Rotax do supply its own battery charger and uh, it's got a little cover here so it doesn't get a lot of grit in it and you can just put that little rubber, rubber guy on there and then when you need to charge it, undo that, slide in the, the charge point, turn on the, battery, uh, the power and it'll charge your battery system for you. So next up we're going to remove the little rubber isolator here for the ECU and insert that into here like so. Close it up and reinstall it into the sheet metal. This is the only thing that holds it all together. And it's got a little sort of uh, cut out here for the harness to run through. We'll slide that down into its house. Put the harness down through the center. And plug in the connector. So now that's all, all that's left is to install the foam isolator for the battery in the battery and we're ready to put the cover back on and then install it on the go-kart. When you insert the foam insert, it's got a couple little ears that go down in there. That just goes across the bottom. And mostly what I do is I just use the battery to hold it all in there nice. It's a bit of a juggling act because the battery bracket mounting kit kind of pushes back up when you put it down on the bench. But as you can see the, the foam inlay is just perfectly around the battery and that stops the vibrations really grinding into the plastic of the battery. Now you can connect the terminals, you can just use a little Phillips head screwdriver here, undo that little guy. Put the positive on first. Then you can do the negative. Now you're ready to install the cover and put it onto the go-kart. So you can see that there's a couple of tabs here on the back of the battery bracket and they just slot into here and that holds the back of it, the cover in and then the screw holds it all down. 
So you just put it on there like that. Put it down over there. Sometimes the battery spreads it out, so you just need to push push it on. And then the little cap screw here, button head, holds it all together. Voila. So now it's time to install the wiring harness and battery bracket to the go-kart. First up, remove the, the bolts and the bottom part of the clamps. Now these will just uh, fall off, so they just held in there a bit of gravity. Now the, I run the wiring harness out of the way, so I can get them on there like that. Stand the battery bracket up into position, and then simply do up the clamps. Also to make sure that when you do these up there that you keep the gap on the sides basically the same, pretty level. You can and also if you need to you can move it down onto the bend of the car and just rotate this bracket inside the inside the, the sheet metal there on those little little islands on there on the nut certs. Now you can get your wiring harness and bring it down through the front of the seat. If you want, you can come with the wiring harness underneath your fuel line, so it doesn't. There you go. Right, just like that, and then you can clamp it down to the chassis. So you can see here we've got a micron cable in a way, so we can just cut that zip tie and re-zip tie that to the harness. Connect the starter motor to the harness. Next up, we're going to run the harness down along the seat so we can plug in all the connectors. So just so you've got somewhere to attach the harness nice and neat out of the way, drill two holes in the seat with a 5 millimeter drill bit. So now that we've run the hot harness down around the seat, we're just going to terminate the, the plugs into their rightful sockets. So the first thing we're going to plug in is this here coil lead, and that just plugs in there like so. Cut the little zip tie off here so that you can get the rave valve sensor down onto its house, and it just clips on like this. You can push that to get it off. But to get it on, you can just do that. And what we're going to do is zip tie these back so they don't vibrate and break in the end. The last thing to plug in is the crank angle sensor, and that's this one here. And to do that, we're just going to put it on here, push it in, and it's done. Now that we've got all the harness plugged in, we're just going to tie the harness back nice and neat so nothing vibrates and breaks during use. This wire here is for the DD2, it uses the same harness and this is for the shift cut for the gear mechanism. You don't need to worry about that on the Senior Max, so we're just going to tie it back to the harness. So there's no real rhyme or reason how to put the wiring harness on the go-kart. You just want to keep a few things in mind that it's neat and well secured. I use these little holes on the on the bracket there to put an extra cable tie to hold the harness in and then another one up here to hold the harness to the coil. So you just stop some of the vibrations and we had had problems with these wires breaking. So it just adds a little bit of rigidity 
to the wiring harness. So there you have it, the Rotax Max 125 wiring harness installation. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Consider sharing it with your friends and turning on those pesky notifications. Also, you can follow us on Instagram at Facebook, at Power Republic on Facebook and Instagram, or you can go to our website, www.powerrepublic.com.au. Grab yourself a t-shirt or a brand new Rotax 125 race engine. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.